Welcome back guys. This is installment three of Ste Old Stealthy and today we're going to service Siren's lower unit. No matter. You ready? Yeah. Let's get to it. All right. All right. We need to drain the oil out of the lower unit. So right. you'll need gloves. Okay. Screwdriver. Mm -hmm. Big pair of channel locks. Okay. All right, so tilt the motor up. There you go, right there. Perfect. Is right. it this bolt right here that says old level? Yep, I uh, take the top one out first. What top one? That's the top screw. Oh. Having a little bit of trouble? All right. That's what channel locks are for. We need to get a little bit of torque on it. Turn it over the other way. Okay, there you nope. Go. There I go what? Did it pop loose? So back No, it open. didn't. It popped off. Let's see. I'm looking at where I put a ding in the metal. <laughs> yeah, you did that part. Oh, now you've got a ding in the metal. Hush. beat it up so we got to replace it now so how I got the top one out is I put a punch and I just tap the corner until it's spun but this one ain't playing ball it looks almost brand new and we're gonna let this drain while we go on a mission. So Miller doesn't keep parts in stock like that. So we're going to a new Honda dealership. Oh shit, we need to go to Marine Wheels and check on the price for thrust washers. Whatever we get, I hope any more than $10 is because that's all we got. Yeah. What's up, man? I was wondering if y'all carry, and I just need a price on a thrust washer. What horsepower is it? 75. 75. See, the, the whole kit's like 42 bucks, and the thrust washer is 32 by itself. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's tough to go ahead and buy it and have a spare part. Because it comes with the, the spacer washer, nut, quarter pin, all kinds. Okay. So, um, I can have one. Tomorrow, but we'll close that noon, so I don't know what time the truck's gonna be here. Okay, so where are we going? We're going to the oh, Honda dealership. Got the part. So, next thing. We want to do, we got the oil out, so we want to put the oil back in. Okay. So get that and this bottom screw, screw it in. There you go. Don't have to be all the way in, that's good. So we want it to be level so we don't have any air pockets. And do I just empty this whole thing in there or like yeah. how much do I go? It's well, this wasn't full, so how do yeah. I know how much to put in? We'll a second bottle. 
when you start seeing it come out of here, we're getting close. Okay, so you just keep going until it comes out of there. That's the general rule? Pretty much. Second bottle. Does it like shoot out of here? There it goes. So now you got air bubbles. How do you know I got air bubbles? Because it's just inevitable in what we're doing. Okay. All right, now pump slow. There you go. See the air coming out? Do it again. No, I don't see the air coming. You don't see air bubbles in there? No. There's a bubble. All no, right. that's just me. All right. All right, so it's full. So you got our new plug, which is this top plug. You just put the O ring on it. Here's a screwdriver. Screw it in the top. Is that tight enough? Let's see if you can get it tighter. I'm afraid to. No. <laughs> Don't. Just push. Hand. It's hand tight. Oh so. uh, yeah. All right. Let me. That was good. Good job. All right. So now this is holding the oil in. Mm -hmm. Like putting your finger on top of a straw at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Trim up again. You unscrew this, and then I'm going to put this right in so very little comes out. You ready? All right. Now, normally, it's we're going to change this. Uh, I think the book says every 200 hours. Since we're commercial and we need to get as much life out of motors as we can, and these are about $1,500 roughly for a new one, we're going to do it every 100 hours. What's $1,500? A brand new lower unit. Okay. So if we strip it out and got to buy a new one, it's about $1,500. Bucks. Okay. If we have to have it rebuild, it's about six. Let's take off your lower unit, put a new impeller in it. Okay. So, we need to take out the bolts. There's one here. Okay. There's one underneath this plate. Okay. And then there's two on each side. Oh. I'll put the on this side. Dear YouTube, you're always one broken bolt away from a three-day job. You're supposed to be doing this, by the way. What's wrong? It's a Honda. That's what's wrong? Yeah. I thought you liked Hondas. They do. They do things different than other outfits. So he finally got it off. I was inside. <laughs> See, we need to get these four screws out. Okay. So I just back them up. Okay. Can I put them in there? Yeah. There's a washer there too. Oh. Don't lose that. You're right there. So next thing you want to do is take the top up. Okay. Should be easy, but you may have to kind of get underneath there and pry it. I'm going to get down here with you and make sure it goes through. <laughs> All right. Try to take it off first without prying it. There you go. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's coming. All right. Yeah. Pull it straight up. Okay. All right. So let's look at the old impeller. All right. So. See how the ends? Actually, that doesn't look too horrible. It's not too great either. What's wrong with it? It doesn't look like it's got a bunch of junk in it. Oh well, yeah. Okay. So. So it's just dirty. Yeah. Okay. So what? We clean it? Uh, no. We got to replace that. Why? Because we took it apart. We're gonna put a new one in. Why? Because we they're not that expensive, and if you take this housing apart, put a new impeller in. Why? 
Why can't you just clean this though? I don't understand. This is plastic. Uh, it's rubber. Why? Yeah, but why can't we just clean it? Um, it's a real question. Because if they're like five dollars, so yeah, I know. But but why would you spend five dollars if you could rinse this off and put it back in? Because this is part of the life of your motor. Yes, but why? <laughs> the more you can change that, the more water it will pump through your engine. So therefore, the longer your engine will work and work properly. What's what's it? I I, I guess I just don't understand. Is this just a piece of rubber? That's it. That's the impeller. That's what sucks the water up through the motor and makes so it. So does it just not home. work as well after a while? Like uh, I'm just it trying wears to get out because it's rubber. See how it's all bent here. So the reason why is because it wears out and it doesn't yeah. function. I'm still trying to figure out why I would replace this. Because it has to be replaced. Yes, I just don't understand right. why. I just want a reason why. Because the engine was overheating. And this is number one, is change the thermostat. Number two is putting the water pump in it. Water pumps are normal maintenance. Whether it's good or bad, you change them out every so often. Can someone on YouTube please explain to me why, like the actual reason why this has to be replaced? All right, so you see how it's bent and cupped? So it goes in here. Yeah. And it spins. Right. And because it's bent, it's cupped, it's worn out. So it's wearing out on these little ends. It, yes. Little air can get in between there and it doesn't suck as well. Ah, that's why. Because these wear out and then air gets in. Mm -hmm. And doesn't create the same mm -hmm. suction. Yep. Never mind, YouTube. I have a reason now. See how long it takes me to get reasons? Right? All right. I'm going to spray this. like immediately need a shower when you do that then it just goes everywhere yep i'm gonna start by putting packing grease around this right yeah right. where do i get that from uh get your gloves on because it's greasy and i'll hand it to you i think that's enough right it's never too much and so it's never too much on here too or what no that's perfect that's perfect good just like that and we just put this one. Okay, what is that? What's it for? This is the gasket. Okay, I'm gonna cover that. Yeah, just kind of get it on there. There you go. And I'll then slide on the plate. Okay. No and now I put there. the white lithium on this, right? We will in a second, but right now we'll put that little piece. We in need there. to grease this whole shaft right here. With pack grease. With pack grease, whole thing. Okay. Real thick. It's on there. All right, can put a little bit more. In that little notch right there. There we go. Can I do it? Yep. Oh, okay. So we're gonna take the notch. Let me see your hand with grease on it. Take that notch, get a bunch of grease on it so it sticks. There you go. And just stick it into that. And that grease will hold it there for that us. That little area. Yeah. Do I need to put any on the outside of it? Nope. Nope. Okay. Just like that. You see the notch in right there? Yep. All right. That's going to go on that little. I'll take a little bit of grease on my finger. Put it in the notch. Yeah, I'm going to wipe it on the inside for lubrication. So just take that. You see the notch in there? Just slide it over and push it all the way down and make sure it goes over the notch. So the notch is like right here on this. Yeah. All right, slide it over. Oh, we need this notch. Thing wants to slide around. Yeah, kind of got to hold it with your thumb and get it started. Okay, so this is kind of tricky because you can't really see the notch on the inside of the impeller anymore. Oh, there it is. Is that it? That's it. That's it. I got it. There you go. Sweet. Okay. All right. All right. So now we need this. Okay. And I'll do it for you because I got grease on my glove. Oh, I do too, but. Let's grease the seal. All right, and then we need to put some lithium in there. Okay. It's a spray? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. So now you slide that over. Okay. Like that. And here's the tricky part. Now, see how that doesn't just slide over it nice and tight? Yeah. We got to bend the fins. The way we do that is we turn the impeller clockwise while we push down. So you want me to spin the impeller while you push down or do you want to do the whole thing? 
There you go. It's easier if you grab up here. You got it. Nope, it's not. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thought you I was got it flat? It. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. There we go. Popped on. All right. Sweet. Here's the bolts. Yep. Not you don't just put them in there. Put a little bit of grease. Okay. And cover the threads, threads. in grease before you do it. Once you get them, make sure that washer's in there. You want to know a secret? What's that? When I worked on yachts, I really wanted to be an engineer. I loved going into the engine room and like cleaning, <laughs> like doing stuff. But then I had this one job where I spent like a lot of time in the engine room, probably too much time, and it like completely broke me of that. I didn't want to do anything in the engine room ever again. Well, it was that. a dirty job, and to be fair, it had nothing to do with engines. See the, in here too? In the back? Yeah, it won't work out. Alright. Looks like there's salt or corrosion or something. Yeah, that's what happens. And then I'm going to go all the way around this edge? Yep. So everywhere you see that the boat, that the lower end is going to make contact with the motor, yeah. you want grease to be there. Alright. Alright. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do this, right? Yeah, but you need a lot heavy, more heavy. grease. Than that. requires excessive lubrication. Proper lubrication. The top right. of it? Nope, not the top. Well, I did the top. That's fine, that's fine. What about all this silvery bit? Yeah, it won't hurt nothing, but you don't have to. All right, now you need to lube the spline for the gear shifter. The spline. All right. All right. We're good? And now you need to wipe around the top of this and on the inside of this. What is this? That is holder? the seal. That's the seal for the water pump. So okay. it hooks the water tube. You get inside of it, put your finger inside of it. There you go. All right. And I'll put it in. Okay. Is that hard to do? It's hard to get everything lined up properly, yeah. Is it heavy? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm not doing it. I'll just let you do it. It's all good. It's in there. You just put it in the bolts. Yep. Just put it in the bolts. And we're going to tighten them down. Put it back together. And then today's prop insulation day. You get to get greasy again. Okay. Okay, so first we're cleaning out this old packing grease. Yeah. You right. normally don't have to do this. But most people don't let their outboards sit so long in this happen. And then I'm going to re-grease this, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So All the way down to this? The whole thing? The whole thing. The whole thing. Except for the threads. You don't have to do So not the whole thing. Okay. The whole shaft, not the threads. Here is your brand new Solus prop. Need that steering cable. We need a steering cable. And a battery. 
and a battery and she's on the water. All right. Can you change the oil? Yeah. Okay. We'll change the oil. All right. Okay. See you guys next week. <laughs>